Hello chess lovers, I have a very short game for you played by Bobby Fischer against Robert Burger. The game was played in 1964 in San Francisco. This was a chess simul and Fischer started with e4, e5 by Burger, knight f3, knight c6, bishop c4, we see the Italian game, and black goes for two knights defense. Knight g5, attacking the pawn on f7, d5, e takes d5, usually in this position black is playing knight a5, this is the main move, or knight takes d5, but in this game we see knight d4, here comes c3, b5, bishop f1, strong move by Fischer, he's keeping alive his bishop, not allowing black to exchange it with the knight, knight takes d5, c takes d4, queen takes g5, Bishop takes b5 check, king d8, queen f3, pinning this knight on d5, bishop b7, white castles, e takes d4, and in this position Fischer made a horrible blunder, he captured on f7, and black made a move and Fischer resigned, can you find black's next move? Well, right now, as you can see, Fischer is threatening queen e8 checkmate, but Burger played knight f6, both covering the e8 square and also threatening checkmate in one, and also this bishop on b5 is hanging, and Fischer resigned. Well, if g3, then black can either capture on b4 or even play bishop d5, trapping this queen, if d3, attacking the queen on g5, then queen f5, if bishop d7, then queen f3, threatening checkmate in one, and black is forced to give up his queen and it's over. That's why, as I've already mentioned, after knight f6, Fischer resigned. Your comments and questions, please. What do you think about this game? Good luck.